Welcome back to my channel technology in the future. So the wait is almost over for the next gen iPad mini. Apple is finally set to deliver a massive overhaul and we might even see OLED screens on the horizon. But before we dive into that, there's a possibility of an iPad mini pro. Let's break down all the details, including specs, release date, and price for this potential iPad mini 7. Over the past month, Apple has unveiled their most powerful iPads yet. The M2 powered iPad Air and the groundbreaking M4 equipped OLED iPad Pros. But what about the standard iPad and the beloved iPad mini? We'll cover the iPad in another video, so stay tuned and hit that notification bell. Today, we're focusing solely on the iPad mini 7, expected to launch in 2024. Recent leaks suggest Apple is planning to introduce an OLED display for the iPad mini. However, the bummer is that this might not happen until 2026, likely reserved for a future iPad mini generation. So for now, we're probably stuck with the same display type as the current model. Many of you have been wondering why Apple hasn't opted for an M2 or even an M3 chip for the iPad mini. The main reason is its compact size. Packing such powerful processors into a small device like the iPad mini would significantly impact battery life. While some might suggest clocking down these chips, that would essentially bring us back to the A-series chips found in the iPhone 15 Pro models. Interestingly, there's speculation about a Pro chipset making its way into the next iPad mini. This could mean an A17 Pro or even the upcoming A18 Pro. The latter is rumored for the iPhone 16 Pro models. An A18 Pro powered iPad mini would undoubtedly transform it into an iPad mini Pro. Alternatively, Apple might stick with the standard A-series chip for this generation. Given Apple's history of equipping iPad minis with the latest chipsets, an A16 seems unlikely. We're more likely to see either the A17 Pro or the next-gen A18 or A18 Pro. Besides the processor, other potential upgrades include a ProMotion display if it becomes an iPad mini Pro, but don't expect OLED or mini LED. Improved screen manufacturing to address the jelly scrolling effect is also on the cards. Additionally, the selfie camera might be repositioned to the horizontal side, similar to other iPad models. As for the release date, Apple is expected to host an iPhone event in the mid-September timeframe. The iPad mini 7 could make its debut alongside the new iPhones, potentially with the A18 or A18 Pro chip. Expect the device to be available for purchase shortly after the event. Regarding pricing, the base model might start at the same $499 as its predecessor, but with a higher starting storage capacity of 128 gigabytes. A 512 gigabyte option could also be in the works. However, if Apple decides to go the iPad mini Pro route with ProMotion and a powerful chipset, expect a price hike of around $100. Even so, it would likely remain cheaper than the iPad Air. So, there you have it. That's everything we know about the potential iPad mini 7. Are you excited about the prospect of a revamped iPad mini? Will you be upgrading or are you waiting for something different? Share your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel, Technology in the Future, for the latest Apple news, reviews, and comparisons. Hit that notification bell to stay updated. See you in the next video. Take care.